Hello and welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2022. This will be a three-card general love reading. So take the messages that resonate, leave the rest behind. And as always, if you guys would like to see what's going on in your life, you can book me for a personal reading, a private reading on LadyScorpiusTarot.com or contact me for a phone reading at 202 599 Seven seven zero five. All information will be in the description box below. Um, once again, shout out to my subscribers and my supporters. I appreciate y'all for being patient for the month of July. You guys know I was absent because um, your girl broke her camera, so I had to get a new lens. So I'm back, back in action. So we're gonna go ahead and resume. And um, yeah, let's see what's going on for my um, Aquarius for the month of August in your love life. Once again, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All right, pardon me if I sound a little different. I just got a piercing, so. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it for Aquarius. Universal spirit, angels, and sending guys, and masses, gods, and goddesses. Give me a message for my Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of August 2022. I actually get messages I love, like, clarity for my Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of August 2022. What is flowing into Aquarius's love life? What is flowing out? Give me three cards here for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2022. What can they expect? What is coming towards them in love? What is the energy that surrounds them for the month of August 2022, Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2022. What message do you have for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2022? Spirit, give me one more card. Okay. Okay, so the overall energy is let your friends help you. So for the month of August, Aquarius, I see some of you guys might be going through some issues or maybe some barriers that you're trying to get over. And Spirit is asking for you to, you know, reach out. Reach out to a family member. Reach out to a cousin, a friend, a close friend, you know, about your queries or whatever you got going on in your life. Because I feel like some of you guys could be trying to deal with so much on your own right now. And maybe you're needing to get a different perspective about your connection or your relationship or whoever you're connected with. Maybe get a different perspective, an outside perspective, an unbiased perspective. Um, and, you know, or just seek some type of advice instead of sitting there isolating yourself or dealing with it by yourself. Because I feel like you do have some friends that's willing to help you. You have people around that love you, that care for you. And it's like they're waiting for you to come ask them for help and support, okay? Or maybe some of you guys will be asking your friends for help and support during this time, okay? The first card we have is deception. The second card we have is religious factors. And then the third card we have is stay optimistic about your love life. So I do feel like some of you guys are trying to stay optimistic about your love life. But you could be around somebody that's on a different spiritual path from you. Or maybe you guys are trying to like, you know, elevate or you're going towards a new spiritual journey. And maybe you're waking up, you know, I feel like you're waking up to who you are. Or, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, whatever path that you are, it could be totally different from the person that you're connected to. Maybe one of you guys are religious and one of you guys are more like spiritual. Um, but I do see like it's some type of different path. And maybe you guys are trying to get on the same page. But it's like, Spirit just want you to stay positive about this, okay? Like, with you having, like, positive thinking and faith, it could work out, you know? Maybe some of you guys just need to talk to each other um, to make sure you're on the same page or at least respect each other's viewpoints, especially when it comes to spirituality, if you guys are feeling like you're disconnected. For some of you guys, it may be the fact that you are connected to this person spiritually, but it could be other deception or different things that's going on that you maybe you don't trust this person because of maybe some deception in the past or... Something like that. But we do have deception here. So somebody is definitely wearing a false self mask in this connection. Whether this is you, Aquarius, or the person you're dealing with. I feel like they're not showing who, exactly who they are. Or maybe it can be other people um, involved or, you know, behind the scenes in this connection. And this is why you're not really staying optimistic about this person. Maybe you could have found out, you know, about some shit that was done behind your back or some gossip or something like that and maybe you thought that you guys was on the same spiritual page or religious page or maybe you guys were you know moving forward towards the same purpose but i feel like maybe some of you guys it's just you know needing to really talk to your friends to get some advice about the situation because it's like i feel like you're in a rock a rock and heart at you're like a rock in a hard place right now okay so it's like spirit just want you to stay optimistic okay about this connection or about your love life in general all right so 
I'm saying for some of my single Aquariuses, maybe some of you guys are single because you don't really trust that easily. Um, maybe you're on a different path spiritually now and the old you is like gnawed and void. So it's like you're trying to be more open to different energies, different belief systems, different paths. But let's see what's going on with the deception card. Let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see. Universal Spirit Angels sending guys a message. Clarify deception for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of August 2022 in their love life. Why is the deception card here for my Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of... Oh, okay. We got a lot of cards that popped out. Okay. All right. So we have the Eight of Swords with the Ten of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing for Earth sign. I'm sorry, the Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Air Energy... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Tower card. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpion, and Energy. We have the Empress, which is Virgo and I'm sorry, Taurus and Libra. Okay, so some of you guys can be doing any of those signs, but it's saying that someone is wearing a false self mask. So maybe this could be you, Aquarius, or the person that you're dealing with. Okay, somebody's feeling stuck. Okay, somebody's feeling stuck mentally. In this situation, in this relationship or partnership or whatever this is, I feel like some of you guys are feeling trapped. You're feeling stuck. Maybe you're feeling like you can't see where things are hidden because you're feeling like blindfolded, as you can see. But all you have to do is really remove the blindfolders and see things for what it is and take yourself out of this mental torment. Okay, because some, some of you guys, it's almost like insanity. You can feel like it's insanity because you're going through the same shit over and over with the eight of swords. Like mentally, you're feeling like... It's just like the same type of energies you're connected with or meaning like maybe people that's like, you know, sneaky, lying, deceptive, do shit behind your back. And it's like you're feeling stuck. Maybe you maybe stay in long. Maybe some of you guys feel like you stay in the situation longer than what you should because we have the Ten of Wands. OK, so the Ten of Wands is here to let go of the burdens. It's like some of you guys, it's time to release the burdens. It's time to release the deception or feeling stuck, trapped, bound to situations that's not that's not honest okay i feel like a lot of you guys could be dealing with a person or this could be you maybe you're not being your true self to this person um or maybe this person's not being their true self to you whatever this is it's some type of deception somebody's feeling stuck in trap but i do feel like that will be ending for the month of august you guys will be able to put down the burdens or put down these deceptive people that you're surrounded with um we do have the tower card i feel like some of you guys are trying to build a foundation but it just was not um it wasn't an honest foundation, okay? It wasn't a stable um, foundation. So, spirit is coming to knock that shit down. We have the Tower card, which is Scorpionic energy. So, some of you guys could be doing for Scorpio. I just feel like it was something that you guys were probably trying to build with somebody financially. Or maybe you could, like, was trying to build something with this person. But it was too much of a burden. Or maybe they feel like it's too much of a burden to to build something with you. Take what resonates. But we have the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody was definitely trying to offer something solid, stable, and new. Some of you guys, this could be a pregnancy. Um, maybe you could have found out about somebody being pregnant. And maybe this caused a wedge in this connection. Um, if not, like this could be a child's mother. Maybe somebody's involved with a child's mother. Or trying to make an offer to a child's mother. Um, but if not, like I feel like some of you guys were definitely trying to grow a situation with this Empress card being here. You're trying to nurture and grow the situation. And you was investing into the situation with the Ace of Pentacles, bringing in a new offer, okay? And I just feel like maybe this offer that you were bringing in, like the challenge was that you you guys couldn't get on the same page. It was like an unstable foundation. It was a lot of deception. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm going to see what's going on with the Empress card. Why is the Empress card here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Some of you guys could be a mother as well that could be um, involved in this connection. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Empress card for my party is Summer Rise and Venus for the month. Of, okay, yeah. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So somebody's lying even about a pregnancy or about nurturing a connection. It could be a mother that some of you guys fell out with as well for some of my Aquariuses. Maybe you felt like this person was deceptive. Maybe you were trying to like, grow something with a mother or heal, make an offer, but it came in with some untruthful um, communication, um, uncertainty. This is unclear. This is like you guys wanting the truth. If this is not a mother, this can be like you trying to nurture something with somebody, make an offer, but then it's like, you know, upright. The Ace of Swords is bringing in the truth, the clarity, bringing in truth and clarity, but it's like maybe somebody's not being honest with you or you're not being honest about if you want to maybe nurture this person or build a family with this person. I'm seeing something surrounding like nurturing or offering more to this connection okay 
clarify the Empress card for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2022. Why is the Empress card here for Aquarius? Ooh, okay. A lot of cards. All right, with first card we have is Chariot. Some of you guys could be done for Cancer. Some of you guys are moving forward from an Empress. We also have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So some of you guys could be done for Water Sign that you're wanting to move forward to. Maybe you guys are wanting to start something new or you had to end something. Somebody ended something with one person to go towards another person. I'm seeing that for sure for some of my Aquariuses. Um, well, some of you guys can be just focused on self-love and moving forward with your life and nurturing yourself and ending Ending something that you felt was too much of a burden, okay? It wasn't, you couldn't nurture the situation. There was a lot of uncertainty and honesty. Um, it would need to be, you guys are going through a transformation. I feel like you had it to transform the way you give love or the way you receive love or the people that you're dealing with, okay? For some of my Aquarius. Could I find a death card for my Aquarius? Some of you guys this for the month of August 2022. And they love life. I have a death card here for Aquarius. August 2022. Watch the death card here. Uh, Aquarius, August 2022, and they love Ice Spirit. Oh, yeah, some of you guys had to cut out something. You guys had the Queen of the Sorry, the King of Swords. You had to cut out something. You had to be honest with yourself about this connection. Like, there's no point in like trying to move forward and trying to build towards it. I feel like maybe some of you guys were trying to build a partnership, manifest something, but there was a lot of like shit behind your back that was going on, hidden. I feel like with the Five of Swords, a lot of competition, one up. Um, tick for tat type of energy confusion. Somebody was definitely from the smug, and I feel like somebody was like still connected to somebody from the past. But you guys are moving away from that. It's like you're going towards maybe a new beginning, like a new home. Maybe going towards the twin flame with the four swords being here. Um, we have this the four swords, and we have the four wands. So some of you guys are trying to get your peace when it comes to moving away from something negative and going towards something more positive, something that could possibly like lead to marriage or maybe a new home for some of you guys, a new foundation, twin flame. All right, so let's see what's going on. Let's clarify religious beliefs. See a lot of different energies going on. All right, let's see. Clarify religious beliefs for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2022. They love life. Why is the religious relief cards here? The Ace of Wands. So some of you guys can be starting something new. Maybe you guys are starting a new spiritual journey, a new spiritual path. Um, you're wanting somebody that's on that same frequency that's just as passionate as you when it comes to spirituality. Clarify religious beliefs. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2022. They love life. Clarify spiritual beliefs. My Aquarius, yeah. Some of you guys, you had a temperance yourself with the temperance card. Could be done for Sagittarius, Leo, Sag, or Aries with the three of um, wands and then the ace of wands. Some of you guys are starting a new spiritual journey. I'm seeing that you're you're going towards a new spiritual journey, something new, something passionate, and you're feeling good about that. Okay, and it's like it's helping you temperance yourself. It's helping you stay grounded and balanced. But I feel like you could be involved with somebody that's not emotionally, not as um emotionally and mentally balances you okay or maybe you're trying to teach them how to do that um maybe they're not as grounded as you but i feel like some of you guys need to use your intuition as well and stay grounded especially when it comes to your spiritual path your spiritual upbringing and what is influencing your life okay i feel like definitely something needs to be left behind with the three of wands this is, this is like you guys like moving forward with your life and knowing that you have to leave something behind in order to see Something new, you know, in order to go towards a new journey or a spiritual journey or start something new, you have to leave something behind that could be holding on to you. You know what I'm saying? It's time for you guys to take action towards something new. Some of you guys could definitely be relocating and moving away, maybe for peace and clarity, um, focusing on your money, your abundance, working hard with the Eight of Pentacles and the, the King of Pentacles. Some of you guys got an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn that, you know, you're moving away from. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're... You're moving away from this person or, you know, because we have the Hermit card. We have Virgo here as well. So some of you guys could be going away from this person, being in isolation or wanting to move away because you're focusing on your spirituality, staying independent, staying abundant. Um, you don't want nobody that's coming in with uncertainty, okay? And don't know who they are, you know. I feel like some of you guys can be dealing with somebody, some people that has like some shadow work to do or some uncertainty about who they are personality-wise, spirituality-wise. And so some of you guys, like, don't let nobody throw you off your path if they're unsure and they're not taking action towards a new journey. If they're not growing with you, then you grow apart, you know. And I feel like some of you guys are wanting to grow. You're wanting to build with somebody that's, that know who they are spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, and you don't want that uncertainty, unsure, unsure 
energy in your life. So it's like some of you guys that need to actually talk to friends about this. <clears throat> Clarify, stay optimistic about your love life. I feel like a lot of you guys would rather be single because you cannot connect to somebody um, spiritually. Maybe the people that you're meeting are more low vibrational and it's like you're wanting to move away from these type of energies. You want maybe a higher level commitment or a person that's enlightened, somebody that's more balanced. Um, somebody that thinks before they do, somebody that's like spiritually driven or passionate. I'm seeing some, you're wanting that more of an abundance. Somebody that's going to invest into you spiritually and emotionally. I'm seeing that as well, okay? So clarify, um, stay optimistic about your love life. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why stay optimistic about your love life here for my Aquarius for the month of August? Clarify, stay optimistic about your love life for the month of August for my Aquarius. Yeah, we have the King of Wands looking at the Nine of Wands. So, you guys could be very defensive. It's like you're wanting to control how your love life works. So, how you give your romance or how you express yourself or what you take action towards. The King of Wands, he likes to control. He's dominant. He's experienced. He's older. Some of you guys could be talking to somebody a little older than you or you could be older than them. Um, and I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, you know, that has a lot of passion, a lot of drive. A lot of creativity, very much wise. Um, but I also feel like some of you guys are just trying to also could be trying to control how your love situations work out or how your how your romantic connections play out because you can be very guarded with the nine of wands. So it's like you're feeling guarded. You're not very much you're not optimistic as you should be when it comes to your love life because I feel like maybe you could have been with a person that was very controlling that wanted to control the narrative. Um, and maybe, you know, you're looking for more of a Real commitment. I'm seeing that. But I find the King of Wands for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and stay optimistic about your life. Like, I like the King of Wands here. Yeah. yeah, the Page of Wands. Okay, so some of you could be talking to somebody that's a little younger than you, a little bit more immature than you. And I feel like it could be like some messages coming in, like passionate messages coming in. You might have somebody that's already trying to holler at you, Aquarius. So maybe you're wanting to go towards somebody and send a passionate message. A passionate message to them, but you can feel, you know, very pessimistic about if they're going to accept your offer. Maybe you don't want to get rejected. You don't want them to feel blocked. Or you don't want to feel blocked from them. I feel like some some of you guys are, like, in isolation from somebody that you would like to reconnect with. Um, So, it's like, you're feeling like the wounded warrior. But just like, but it's like you still have one more wand in you to persevere and do challenges. Clarify the nine of wands for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is it not a one two for Aquarius? Yeah, three of cups. Some of you guys want to re reconcile with somebody, hook up, but you could be afraid that this person or, you know, they can have you in a third party situation or leave you out in the cold again. You know, with the lovers card, some of you guys, this can be a Gemini or a soulmate that you guys are trying to connect with. We also have, like, twin flame energy coming out. But I feel like some of you guys, it's like somebody that you have a lot of love for, a deep connection spiritually. You guys can be on the same page or you guys can have think the same way when it comes to spirituality. But it's like this person either leaves you out in the cold or they, they can be involved with another person right now. Third party situation. Uh, I really do feel like some of you guys are wanting, you want, you want it all. You want ten of cups. You want a happy family, happy wife, happy life. You know, you want emotional fulfillment and i feel like this person could be that for you but it's like in order for you to get that you have to say i'm missing much of love life maybe some of you guys need to reach out try to reconcile but we had the five of wands so maybe like i said some of you guys could have been left out in the cold it's gonna be like a situation that tried to come around before but it was like brain crumbing so like one person left it behind let's see clarify the three of cups from my aquarius some of rising and venus we have the chariot card, Cancer Energy, the Six of Swords again, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So what that means is like, yeah, some of you guys are wanting to take action to move, go towards a person that moved away from you. I feel like with the Six of Cups, this can be your soulmate, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, somebody from the past that you're still holding on to with the Four of Pentacles. And it's like, if you want this person, Aquarius, you guys are going to have to work on some type of divine healing with the Star card. Things that need to be healed. Okay, you need to heal yourself before you try to make this offer again or offer towards the soulmate, twin flame. I feel like some of you guys would like to marry this person. That's a wish fulfillment for you. You can be like wishfully thinking about being married, being happy. 
But it's like, in order to do that, you got to take action and move away from negative emotions and have faith that things could come back together. Because I see like things could come back together, but somebody's needing to make apology to each other or come in with an offer. I feel like some of my queries is you're wanting to go towards a person and make an apology or to make an emotional offer or apology or say something to them. But some of you guys could still be tied to another person. Or they could be tied to a person, okay? Even though you want to slowly come in and make some type of offer to see them or hook up with them. Or some of you guys, this is talks about children, um, family. But I feel like somebody's wanting to come in slowly to apologize, okay? About something or something from the past that didn't go right, okay? Because I feel like in the past, like, it could have been a tower moment between you, Aquarius, and the person you're dealing with because someone was in and out and it caused a lot of heartbreak, okay? Somebody went spying, and they could have found that she was doing you, you know. So somebody's on the break right now at peace, retreated from the situation. But I feel like you guys are just needing to get some advice from friends, you know, or take this advice as it is. You know, if you want a person, go towards them. You might feel a little indifferent as far as spiritual background. But I do feel like things can come together if you really work hard on it. The person you're trying to connect with, Aquarius, I feel like they're right now. They're just focusing on their abundance. They're just focusing on their own journey. But if you guys want to go after it, stay optimistic about your love life and don't be wearing a false self mask, okay? So that's what I have on my Aquarius. Let me know if it resonates. Leave a comment below. Once again, take the message as they resonate. And if you'd like to see what's going on with you, you can book me on LadyScorpiusTarot.com. I'll see y'all next month. Peace.